Bridge Marketing in FB Chat Part 2. In this video, we'll see some more Ninja Facebook chat tips. We'll call this the Facebook or FB Chat recipe. So let's go ahead. The first tip, which I want to share with you, is staying focused. It is very simple, but a powerful strategy which can absolutely make or break your Facebook marketing business. As a marketer, you have to understand one thing. Time is very valuable. You have to spend a maximum of 30 minutes every day chatting with your target market. In the last video, we've shown you how to connect with your target market and then spend a maximum of 30 minutes chatting with them. Else, this can easily put you out of focus. This was my problem when I started marketing with Facebook for free. I used to spend hours just talking to people and getting connected with them. But you should just be spending a maximum of 30 minutes and then just log out of Facebook. This is not a Facebook rule, but for you to manage your time wisely. Tip number two, research your prospect. Do some basic research work on your prospects, like looking at your common friends or whether they have a blog or not. Now, when someone sends a Facebook friend request, the first thing I look at is our mutual friends. If I see that we have some good quality of mutual friends, that's the only time I accept their request. The reason is because it talks a lot about their circle of influence or the kind of marketers they mingle with. The next thing is, you should always check out if they have a blog or not, because if they have their personal website or blog, this means that they have this stature or reputation as a marketer. What kind of group is he associated with? Same kind of issue. This helps determine if the prospect is worth your time or not, because you only have 30 minutes of Facebook time in your hands every day. You should use that time with prospects who are worth your time. FB chat number three. Use bridge marketing. As we have discussed earlier, use bridge marketing technique to bridge the gap and connect to your target audience immediately and build rapport. Tip number four Use effective icebreakers. Check out prospects' common interest areas like sports, books, movies, etc., and use them as effective icebreakers. If you talk to fellow marketers about marketing all the time, or just sending them links and all, some people don't like these. They feel it's some kind of harassment, and some people might even report you to Facebook or unfriend you. So always build rapport by using some icebreakers, like, oh, I see that you like rich dad, poor dad, or I see you like rugby. My favorite team is New Zealand All Black. These are the things that personally interest them. You can talk about these things before talking about the business stuff. Some people don't like to go to the business talk directly, so always use icebreakers. But then again, everyone responds differently. Tip number five, use edge rank. As shown in the earlier video, always use this edge rank mechanism by adding people as your close friends. This is actually builds on the rapport with that person. This person is attracted to you as a marketer and is already sold to you before you even start talking to him. Use newsfeed, close friend, technique to position yourself effectively. Tip number six, answer questions. In any kind of market, some people will have questions. For example, in the internet marketing niche, some people might have technical questions when it comes to getting some screenshots or questions related to putting up their blog. If they ask the question in their newsfeed, or to you directly, always answer their questions to build your authority. Your effort or help will never go to waste, as people you help will come back someday to do business with you. Tip number seven, create your pipeline. This is very, very important. Remember, you can have 5,000 Facebook friends, plus thousands of followers. There are over a billion of people on Facebook. There are millions in different target markets. As time is vital for you, and you can only spend a maximum of 30 minutes per day for chatting, open 10 to 15 chat windows and chat with them simultaneously. I've been using this particular technique for the last few months, and it's very effective. Now, this also helps you boost your confidence because, number one, so many people are in the pipeline, 
so you always have people to talk to, even if someone leaves you in your conversation. Some prospects might take 5 to 15 minutes before replying, so opening multiple conversations is actually an effective use of your time. And number two, as a marketer, you're able to maintain your posture because you have so many people to chat with. FB chat tip number eight, send videos. This is completely a ninja trick and works like magic. You don't even have to show your face in the video to do this. You can have screen recording videos by using screen recorders like Camtasia or ScreenFlow. Instead of normal text chat, send your prospect a customized video to answer their question or sharing some cool tips. Also, instead of using a normal text chat, you can use a video selfie introducing yourself. Say, Hi John, I'm glad to be connected to you here on Facebook. I'm so-and-so, from this country. I do this and that. Mentioning something the person you're talking to could relate with. I see we're both interested in building our business. It doesn't have to be a long video. 30 seconds would even suffice. Send it via Dropbox or upload it via YouTube on unlisted mode. Using videos this way will differentiate you to the 99% of marketers out there. You will see the difference in the reaction almost immediately. Everybody wants to talk to a person who's different and sincere, a person who takes his job seriously. And most importantly, FB chat tip number nine, move to call to action. This is the most crucial step for your success. Now that you have initiated some interaction, built rapport and authority, don't be afraid to send your business-related link. Offer the opportunity or goods that you have to the other person, because who knows, he might just be looking for what you have. In other words, do not be afraid of rejection. Use your bait at the right moment. Remember, you have 5,000 FB friends and growing. You have your Facebook fan page. You have your followers. So you don't have to be afraid. Instead, you should be there building your business with a lot of courage. Bridge Marketing and FB Chat Part 2 I believe these nine Facebook chat recipes are going to open up your mind about what you could do with Facebook to grow your business without the use of ads. Use these techniques diligently, take action, and apply. I'll see you in the next video.